Dear friends, this film will show you how to examine an eye to detect early changes due to leprosy and what is to be done to manage them. Involvement of eye due to leprosy is not rare. A significant number of persons develop leprosy reactions. During the reactions, the eye can be damaged in a very short time. Early recognition and management of eye problems may help in rapid recovery. The point of utmost importance is to identify eye involvement due to leprosy. Careful inspection of eye to see loss of eyebrow and eyelashes, normal blink, excess watering from eye, redness of eye, inability to close eyelids and vision may indicate the changes due to leprosy. Notice if any eyelashes are turned inside, touching eyeball which may indicate corneal anesthesia or may be a cause for excessive watering. Redness of eye is of serious concern. Most of the time it is due to inflammation of internal parts of the eye during leprosy reaction which requires a specialist's attention. Redness of eyes of few days duration or associated with other signs of reaction should be referred without any delay. Photophobia indicates ulcer on the cornea, a vital part of the eye. It may lead to blindness if not taken care immediately. Vision should be tested at frequent intervals. Simple self-care measures will prevent blindness. Washing the eyes with clean water and putting eye drops to moisten will preserve the vision and further damage. Regular blinking and complete closure of the eyes at night keep the eye healthy. Inability to close the eye and detect loss of vision. Muscle weakness of eyelids is a common disability of eye caused by leprosy. Muscle weakness may mean that the patient cannot shut their eyes. If they try to close their eyelids, the white of the eye can still be seen. Incomplete closure of eye due to weakness of eyelids may result into further damage and blindness. If detected and treated early, it is reversible. Therefore, detecting weakness of eyelids is important in the early stages, that is, during less than 6 months duration, but later on it becomes a permanent disability. Voluntary muscle test of the eye is simple to carry. Ask the person to close the eyes lightly and look for any gap between the eyelids. The observer's eyes should be at a level below the eyes of the person being tested to detect the gap. Then ask the person to close the eye tightly to prevent its opening against resistance produced by the examiner who will be trying to open the eyelids by his hands to judge the strength of eyelid muscles. Record the muscle strength as S, W or P that is strong, weak or paralyzed on the record form. To test the vision, use Snellen chart. If the Snellen chart is not available, stand 6 meters away and ask the patient to cover one eye. Hold up your hand and ask the patient to count the number of fingers you are showing. Test the other eye in the same way. If the patient cannot count the fingers, then that eye is more or less blind, which could be due to a complication of leprosy. Persons with rapid or recent loss of vision should be referred immediately. Even those with senile cataract should be referred for surgery. Cataracts are the most common cause of significant vision loss in the community and this is especially true in older people. People who have had leprosy can have the cataracts operated on in exactly the same way as those who have not had leprosy with an intraocular lens implant. Saving the eyesight of even a single person is a great service. Identification and referral of red eye or open eye or loss of vision without delay will prevent blindness, which is a great job. Leprosy in eye. Always remember, examine eye for redness, watering, photophobia, eyelashes, eyebrows, lid gap if any and loss of vision. If there is red eye or recent loss of vision, refer the case immediately. Inability to close the eye completely, that is lagophthalmos, can be corrected by surgery referred to a surgeon. Lagophthalmos and cataract cases should be referred to surgeon without any delay. Self-care practices such as inspecting in a mirror, 
washing the eyes, putting moisturizing eye drops and protecting the open eye will prevent blindness.